dialogue, uh, continues the dialogue as such, continues and there will be further high level meetings happening. But again, we announce those uh, as appropriate. At this stage, I can share with you that there will be uh, next week in Brussels, the meeting of uh, chief negotiators of both sides who were invited by, by the EU facilitator to come to Brussels to take forward everything that was, uh, that was um, agreed in Ohrid and to start to make first steps towards the implementation. We are pleased to see that the dialogue is becoming popular in the region and more and more countries are offering the possibility to host it. But let's take it step by step. I mean, the dialogue is Brussels-based and uh, uh, we achieved a very important uh, step in Ohrid by the agreement of uh, Serbian President and Co Prime Minister of Kosovo, uh, where they agreed both with the, with the agreement and with the annex. So now the work is on implementation. What has been done, I think it was uh, very much in an open domain to follow what was what was uh, following. There was the FAC, where HRVP was briefing the foreign ministers, uh, his fellow EU partners. There was the European Council, where EU leaders endorsed this and repeated and, and stressed that uh, both uh, parties have to proceed with the swift implementation in good faith of the commitments made. So this is what we are working on. We started on our side the institutional work uh, in order to operationalize the first steps. That means uh, starting to adjust EU's common position when it comes to Chapter 35 and uh, the, the relevant steps also on the side of Kosovo.